grew up in the southeastern suburbs of Melbourne. I got into public relations and deferred and got into sales. By 22, I was leading my first sales team. By 26, I was appointed to the board of directors responsible for 150 people. And that's when I thought I really should go back to school. So I did a business management course in London over 18 months. And then once I got that certificate, I then came back to Australia and was appointed CEO within about two years of that. I guess you could call that my apprenticeship before setting up Choice Energy. I grew up in a town called Bath in the UK. They're very big on rugby union. My father got me down to playing mini rugby at the age of five years old. So rugby has been in my veins uh, my entire life. I love it very much. One thing that uh, I would thank my parents for, amongst many things, uh, would be their um, installation of the importance of education. Uh, I'm still a very curious person and um, I hope I remain so as well. Alan and I were introduced by a mutual friend who was a director of a company I worked for in London uh, when Alan migrated over. Um, he, he sent an email saying, Chris, meet Alan, you guys have got the same uh, methodology and beliefs. So we did, and I think within the two sort of common interests that we had were uh, sport and, um, and business. Um, I knew about rugby union, he knew about footy, and neither of us knew about the other sports, so it quickly turned to business. Alan Gill and I used to get together over a beer and talk about customer journeys and uh, helping customers with the right sort of solutions and we were brainstorming business ideas for a while before we got the Choice Energy model together. Chris was very good at bringing me into his social life um, and everything sprang from there really. We've since won the Australian Financial Review Fast 50 Award in 2017 and last year we won the Smart Company Fastest Growing Business in Australia Award. So energy efficiency technologies can help a customer's bottom line because they don't actually have to come up with the money to invest in solar. So a bit of a misconception is the big investment and a long return on investment, but businesses are already investing in electricity. So what we're able to do is use their existing budget on electricity and re-divert that into paying for a commercial solar solution. So there are a plethora of energy initiatives, uh, both at state level and at federal level. Um, they work on the basis of uh, carbon footprint and abatement. Uh, where Choice Energy is particularly strong is uh, helping customers to create SDCs and LGCs, which are basically certificates uh, to financially reward them for the investment that they've made in solar. Some of the concerns around uh, energy increases uh, is the lack of control that businesses have. So we've had seven prime ministers in the last 10 years. The stability of governments uh, are questionable. So businesses really need to take some control back themselves. And investing in energy efficiencies is one way to do that. Solar companies don't have any annuity or repeat business. So Choice Energy are very different because we're not just a solar company. So half of our staff help businesses procure their power, they help with metering solutions and other services. Choice Energy have 7,500 energy clients, so in terms of booms and busts of the industry we're a little bit more insulated and that means our solar clients are much more comfortable with the fact that we're going to be around in 5 or 10 years time to back up their long warranties. day in my life uh, starts with uh, when it gets dark, I like to get up and if I can get on my cycle trainer, I'm pretty addicted to cycling and with a young family I have to do that uh, a lot of the time when people are sleeping. The alarm goes off quite early and I, I try and get a good start to the day, uh, training for whatever sporting event I've got coming up and I'm in the office by about 7.45 in the morning ready for an 8.30 hard start. Chris is the strongest cyclist at the moment. 
mainly because he's a lighter man, uh, so he can go up hills quicker, uh, and I also am afraid of going down hills. In terms of the long bike ride, my business partner Alan and I, um, I'll be conservative and say me by an hour. For me, a company is no more than an ABN number and a web domain besides its people. So we're really big on investing in our people because it's the people that are on the front line speaking to our customers. So treat your people right and you'll be a good leader in the industry. The next 12 months for Choice Energy uh, we'll be looking to do what we've done successfully before so we want to help more Aussie and Kiwi businesses and homes pay less for their power and use less.